This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk a little about micronutrients and the functions of micronutrients in plants. You know, with micronutrients, people often think, well, they're called micronutrients because they aren't very important. You know, the word micro. Well, actually, what micronutrients are, they are very important in the plant, as we'll explain with these different plant functions. It's just that they're needed in small quantities. Well, it's just like taking your vitamins every day. You don't need to take uh, pounds and pounds of vitamins each day. You just need a little bit, and it helps everything in your body work well. Well, plants are designed very much the same way where micronutrients help a lot of these processes move along. So whether we're talking about your flower garden or your vegetable garden, your lawn, crop fields, wherever it is, micronutrients are important. There are some in the soil, but as your crops use them up, are you putting some back? And if not, here's what you could be missing out on. Well, the thing is with any of these micros, they can have a variety of different functions. So let's just go through each one of the micronutrients and talk about what we're missing out on. Let's start with one of the most commonly talked about micronutrients in agriculture, that is zinc. So what's the purpose of zinc in the plant? Zinc has a number of functions in the plant. One of the things that's pretty cool about zinc, it activates the enzyme responsible for growth hormone production. That's a real big one with your plant, especially uh, throughout the growing season when it gets into those rapid growth stages. It does regulate growth and it also hastens maturity. So if you're having some maturity issues, your corn's not getting there, perhaps it's because you're short in zinc. A couple other things, it influences protein formation and promotes water absorption. So there are many very important functions with zinc. Well, with zinc, it's one of the nutrients that we've had some issues with on our own farm. We've had to keep supplementing, adding zinc all the time. Another nutrient we've had some issues with on our farm has been boron. Let's talk about the functions of boron in the plant. When I think of boron, I think about many things along the reproductive stages of plants. Boron is very important in the formation of pollen grains and in the tubes. Now, it's also important in seed production. It enhances the quality of seed. There's just so many things with boron that I guess just to keep it simple, if you think about the reproductive phases, if you're having any issues at all, boron is one of those nutrients that's important. With micronutrients, what we're trying to stress upon you is that, yeah, it may look a little boring on the outside, but I'll tell you what, if you don't spend a little bit of effort focusing on micronutrients on your farm or even in your garden, you're not going to have very good production. Even on our farm, when we started supplementing just a few dollars worth of zinc and boron, our yields, our profitability went up dramatically. So even though this may be just as exciting as that uh, old science class in high school, I just think that you got to look at what each of these things are responsible for and spend a little time and effort on them. Okay, let's talk about manganese quick. Well, manganese is a big one too. It aids in respiration. It helps in photosynthesis. It accelerates the germination of seed. There are so many things with manganese. With copper, there are so many things that does as well. It activates enzymes, it aids in respiration, but it also has a lot of function in root metabolism. So it's a big, important nutrient. In wheat, a lot of times we notice that it aids in chlorophyll synthesis. So if you're having some issues in wheat, copper is often one that really helps the plants look better. Okay, well, once again, with all these different micronutrients, and there are several others that your crop really needs, it's not that it's not important to the plant, it's just that it needs them in small quantities. Well, another thing we hope we can keep in small quantities is our Weed of the Week. We'll talk about it later in the show.